Here, you don't blow that stuff out of proportion. It's always calm. It's, all, it's almost like this Zen Buddhist way how you handle everything. You stay in the moment. I'll give you an example. So I'm in, I'm here in Montreal, and there's a guy next to me in a bar. We're having a few drinks, and the highlights of the Terry Fox Marathon. I go, hey, dude, who's Terry Fox? I'm not kidding. Guy takes a sip of his beer and goes, ah, this guy with no legs that ran across the country. I was like. <laughs> Well, that's pretty impressive, don't you think, man? <laughs> if there's a guy missing half a toe when he ran across one state in America, he'd have a stamp and a gun named after his ass tomorrow. <laughs> so you know what I mean, right? So, you know, it is like this very moment-to-moment -moment existence, especially here in Quebec. I mean, you guys have to believe that all there is is one moment, and maybe there's no reincarnation. I think. I think you believe that because easily, man, you guys drink and smoke and eat smoked meat. Like, who cares about the afterlife? <laughs> or to hell with an organ donor program. That's my favorite. You guys, could you like to be dependent on a kidney or a lung coming from Quebec? Yeah, you know I man. <laughs> you guys are like, you can have it when I'm done, but oh, she's gonna have some miles on her, buddy. <laughs> Surgeon's got, surgeon's got a cooler, opens it up. Who sent me a black motorcycle boot that smells like whiskey and cheesy french fries? <laughs> you know what's amazing? Suicide bombers, it's unbelievable how much they believe in. They believe that. Now, most of us have something we believe in, but is it that strong? Is it that strong? I grew up Baptist and Pentecostal, so I've seen some pretty good preachers in my day. None of them that good. <laughs> No, no, think about it. We all know some pretty persuasive people in our lives, don't we? Could you fall for that? Could you imagine? what That, that must have been a hell of a sermon. <laughs> Did everybody gets their gift package from that guy. You must have been really needing some upliftment that day. For the guy to go, listen, everybody gather around, because everybody here, except for me, <laughs> is going to get some dynamite. And I want you to all run out and run into buildings and banana sands and blow yourselves up, and then uh, you get taken care of in the afterlife. I'll be praying for you right here. <laughs> Most of us go, did he just say dynamite and blow up? <laughs> oh. Well, I could help with the bake sale or something like that. <laughs> uh, if, so everybody's always wondering, you know, you think this is the end of the world? You know, are you scared? I don't think this is the end of the world. Not from any signs that I've seen. Oh, that's not true. One sign I'm a little worried about. A little worried about maybe it's a sign of the apocalypse. A white Canadian guy won the NBA's MVP. <laughs> Thank you very much. Have yourselves a good night. See you next time.